Well, welcome aboard. Uh, maybe if you can just offer uh, a little bit of uh, your feelings on the trade and, uh, and joining Ottawa. Uh, yeah, I'm thrilled. Uh, I'm really excited. Um, you know, it's, uh, it's uh, a whole new opportunity, um, a whole new group of guys. Uh, so it brings in a, obviously a ton of emotion, um, some excitement, some nerves. Um, you know, it's uh, um, been a busy last couple of days, to say the least. <laughs> um, but I had an amazing support system around me that, uh, um, you know, made the transition for this trade. Uh, just as far as, uh, you know, getting packed and moved and things like that. Uh, my wife did uh, all the heavy lifting, so I'm pretty thankful for that. They always do. Yeah, they, yeah, they do, uh, yeah. Un unfair question, perhaps, to ask, but on first blush, and I know you've only had one morning skate, but on first blush, your impressions uh, of this animal. Yeah, I'm, I'm really excited to join um, a young group of guys. Um, you know, last year, just going back to last season, the unique scheduling that, that it was, we obviously played these guys, um, I don't know, maybe eight times, maybe it was more, um, something like that. Um, but you saw how hard uh, the coaching staff had the players work, um, how difficult those games, like they, they gave last year a lot of us teams a lot of trouble and and it's from their work ethic and their and their tenacity um, as a defenseman on an opposing team playing against the Sens uh, you knew they were coming at you in waves um, so that's that's difficult on a defenseman when you're trying to break the puck out or make plays under that kind of pressure um, and they got some guys up front that are really skilled um, and, and the guys in the back end that can move and slick with the puck so for me I just try to come in and you know, fit in as, as I can uh, on the ice and the role that the coaching staff is going to give me um, and just try to do what I can do. Um, but I'm, I'm excited. I'm, I'm really looking forward to the chance to, uh, you know, wear this jersey and, and uh, you know, get back to Ottawa and, and start wearing it there as well. A, a trade can be a difficult transaction for players, um, made easier perhaps when you've got uh, familiar faces around. Your relationship with Jack Capuano, how, how yeah. was that? And uh, obviously you were an assistant <coughs> captain under him in Long Island. It's got to be... Yeah, it's uh, I had an unbelievable relationship with Cap. Um, you know, it goes back obviously a long time now. Um, he's he's someone uh, you know between Jack and and Garth Snow um, really really gave me my opportunity and and uh, uh, you know stuck with me the the whole time and. I got nothing but amazing things to say both about Garth and especially Cappy as well. Um, and those are, you know, relationships uh, that I forged early on in my career that, that I've um, always uh, kept and, and appreciated. Um, you know, Cappy, we, we speak uh, a handful of times a year, we'll check in, see how the kids are doing and how my family is doing and vice versa. You know, Cap's son is uh, uh, my age or a year younger. And, and so you get to really know someone on a personal level. Um, and that was the unique thing about those Islanders uh, years <clears throat> when he was our coach under under his guidance. Our team was a pretty young team, but we all kind of came in together. And I think you kind of, you know, obviously in very my short time here, but from the outside looking in, watching the Senators last year and this season, you can see the young nucleus that is here. Um, and I kind of have, you know, some of those same feelings. Of, you can see just this morning in the locker room how, how tight knit it seems to be. And, and uh, um, I think that's kind of what organizations want their locker rooms to be so um, I guess I got away from the ca you know questionable Cappy but um, great relationship I got a ton of respect for him um, both on the ice but especially off the ice as well. A bit ironic that you debut in a Senators uniform in your hometown and I'm not sure how much of a milestone guy you are but 700 games <laughs> tonight a pretty impressive number when you think about it. Yeah and trying to date me a little. <laughs> yeah no, um, you know what? It, yeah, it's uh, it's always a thrill when I get a chance to come back and play in Manitoba, and, and uh, I'm, I'm extremely proud to be from Manitoba. And I think a lot of people who've known me uh, throughout the years will know that. So whenever I get to play a game here, um, it's special. And, and obviously, uh, you know, fans in the building last year was just a really unique situation. Um, so that that kind of felt like a bit of a blur. But uh, so it'll be nice um, to be back. And, and obviously, the first game uh, as a Sen is uh, means a lot to me. And, and um, I'm looking forward to that challenge, that opportunity, and and, and uh, I'm grateful for the you know the chance and and uh, you know 700 games, uh, it's pretty cool. Um, you know you you obviously want to play as many as you can, but you realize that no matter how many games, uh, you know every game that you play in this league is a blessing. And um, anyone that knows me is, is pretty aware how, how how much my faith has guided me throughout my my career and my life. Um, so every game, I, I kind of just take a moment just to appreciate from God the chance and the opportunity that I have to play in this league. So to say that I've had the uh, the blessings to do it for 700 um, tonight, um, 
it's just that kind of a blessing. So it's pretty cool, but hopefully many more to come. Well said. Uh, safe to assume that you're just going to try and keep it as simple as possible tonight? That's the plan. Off the glass and out. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah, that's good. Frank, you'll be on It works. The 700 games, has it gone by quickly, Travis? Yeah, nice. you know what? Yeah, it has. Um, it seems like yesterday I was just coming in, um, you know, and, and I, I, for anyone that's a parent, even um, it just seems like the you know the days sometimes take long, but all of a sudden you turn around and it's the years gone by, and you're like, what the heck? How did that happen, right? So, um, you, when I was a young guy, I remember coming in the league and, and the older players and veteran players saying like, you appreciate it because it, it's going to fly, um, and and here I am, certainly with hopefully a ton of hockey left in front of me, but. Um, just on the milestone situation of 700, you look back and go like, where did that, where did that go? Um, you know, I was fortunate to play on some really good teams and really good organizations and make a lot of great friendships along the way. So um, for me, it's, uh, it's, it's a neat feat, um, but hopefully uh, we'll talk again at 1,000. <laughs> Guys yeah, off, you know what? Yeah, um, my it was my first uh, first or second year. Um, I, I played with Steve Stales in New York, and Steve uh, was someone that when he was with the Oilers, uh, I was you know playing in Musha and Brandon um, at the time, and so you'd see all the games on Sportsnet and everything else. And and he was someone that I watched a lot growing up. And then uh, when he came to New York, um, you know, I really tried to learn as much as I could from Steve. Uh, you know, he was a player that played so hard, even, uh, you know, at the end of his career like that. The, the way he played was admirable. Um, the way he handled himself off the ice was, was extraordinary. And, uh, you know, I think he tried to, to, to pass on uh, whatever knowledge or tips or things like that that he could. Um, but he was, uh, he was a big influence on me early on, more than he probably realizes. Do you try that now with, I mean, when you come into life, is it maybe about helping the team on the ice? Yeah, yeah. You know what? I think it's hard when you come into a new situation, and, and for many years I didn't have to really do that. Um, obviously, last year in Vancouver, um, so I think you kind of just come in with your eyes and ears open and your mouth shut, and just kind of see how um, you know this team goes about their business and and how you can integrate yourself um, and, and learn and, and and see where you can you know fit in and spot in and and uh, you know let that kind of build um, naturally. I think uh, it's probably the best way.